Yo again, what's up and how you doing? Welcome to my channel, if you're new, can I just prompt you to subscribe and also hit that bell notification so you know when I release a new video. Guys, also follow my Instagram handle, which I'll leave just down by the description box. Let me get more serious, guys. So we have got another shoe video, guys. I'm back on YouTube. I know I was quiet the whole day yesterday, but I've just released a couple of videos. Make sure you go check them out from today, guys. So today we're looking at this uh, dunk from and and has got a raffle on these ones. Due to come out on the 3rd of April. This is called the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro ACG. They're very unique. Very, very, very unique. Um, I'd probably struggle to, um, you know, honestly, they look like cement, bro. Like cement and it's got like a bit of a darker blue and a baby blue. So I don't know what Nike was thinking here. <laughs> this shoe... I could wear it, but it's not one of my favorite colors. I mean, saying that though, it could, it would match with this Nike and Supreme beanie that I'm wearing. It would match together, but like, it's just the other color. It's just a bit of a, do you know what? Let me just uh, show you what I'm looking at, guys, All right? So, this is the shoe here, basically. So you can see what I'm struggling with. So it's a mixture of like, um. It's like a faded olive green, or it's like a faded olive with a darker blue, you know, and then a baby blue. So it's just the color scheme itself is a bit weird. Then the side of the uh, soles also like white with, with black little dots. So it's just like, it's quite busy as a shoe. There's a lot going on. Uh, I'm not really like quite a massive fan of this shoe. Um, I know I'll probably get like, Comments saying like, oh, you know, the shoe is dope. Do you know what, mate? Like, if you think it's dope, then fine, fantastic. But I don't think the shoe is dope. Will I buy it? Probably, because I'm a reseller. If it makes money. Um, But I think because now it's summertime and there's a lot of nice dunks that are coming out as well. And good colours as well. So I do sort of struggle to see, like, where would this fit in the market? I like to observe. I'm quite, like, analytical. You know, you've got to look at things, you know on a more structured basis and if you look at the ladies night dunks that have come out and some that should have come out as well you had like the the peach and the white you had the blue you had the sail coast as well you know um which i reviewed as well so there's some more to come out as well in the next coming couple of weeks so when i look at that compared to this it's just like this shoe kind of i think it's more for like skaters basically it looks like it's one of those like heavy duty, like industrial, you know, um, shoe, which is durable. It'd probably survive a storm, you know, probably survive a tsunami. And that's not to say it's, you know, to someone else it won't be a good shoe. To somebody else it could be a good shoe, but for me personally, I think it's just like, it's an okay shoe. It's one of them dunks, like, it's as if like somebody like uh, messed up their like ID order on a dunk because the time was just, you know, going down pretty fast. And they just put a couple of colors together. I know that's just, I know it's brutal, it's a bit honest. Nowadays, people don't really like the truth when you say it as it is. But in the, on this channel, I like to be fair. I'm not biased. Even if I was getting sponsored as well, like, you know, I wouldn't just say nice things. Now, there's some good things from this shoe as well. Though. Don't get us wrong. Not all is bad. You know, um, I like the materials, the difference in the materials. I like the suede um, on the on the lighter sort of like greenish color there. I like the suede and the tick as well. I'm trying to think maybe if they had made um, the inside bit, maybe perhaps like a bit of white, you know, if they made the blue parts, the darker blue parts white, I think it would have been a good shoe, you know? But you know, yeah, <laughs> the damage has, been done. damage has been done, isn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, this shoe, like, draws inspiration from, like, the 90s. It comes from uh, the Caldera boot, basically. So, it pays homage to that to that boot itself. And, yeah, I think sometimes when you bring the 90s into the 2000s, you've got to try and remix it a little bit. Because a lot of kids that are buying dunks nowadays are, like, 15, 16. That time, a lot of them were not born anyways. Do you know I mean, that's just the reality of the situation here. And also one thing I've noticed about like uh, ACG, ACG is like a segment of Nike, which is not really like, 
it's not really like well funded. I don't know why Nike actually started ACG. I feel like they don't research or like put so much uh, money towards um, ACG. It kind of get the crumbs of the budget, and I think this definitely shows with this shoe. I mean, my girlfriend likes the shoe. You like you, you like you like the shoe, right? Yeah, she she likes the shoe. Let me ask you a question. So, how would you style this shoe? Like, what would you wear with this shoe? All right, we'll just give it a couple of seconds, guys. Because for me, I really honestly struggle. Like, it's one of those shoes that I'll, if it makes money, I will definitely, you know, um, therefore, like, you know, buy it just to resell purely. But yeah, um, sorry. I don't know, well, black colour got pants. Right. Then probably like a white or black tee. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you know, then utility vest. Yeah. yeah. In either that weird colour. Right. In like that desert -y colour. Mm -hmm. And then, all right. God knows what the rest. All right, fair play. Do you know what I mean exactly? So the lady spoke in there, so I won't speak on that part. Now, when it comes to reselling, I think you know, um, I could, you know, this is just like a purely just like a focus. It's not hundred percent accurate. I'd probably say I think the bigger sizes would do quite well. I don't see this shoe having a a strong appeal on females as much. So I'd probably stick with your size sixes. Size seven, size eight. I wouldn't bother with the size three, size four, size fives. You know, um, maybe size. I mean, I, I don't know any guys that wear size five to be honest. So yeah, bigger sizes, probably up to eleven. I wouldn't get carried out to a twelve, thirteen. You know, and um, that's the size I'd actually invest money into. Um, will this shoe sell quite well in the future? Probably. I think it might do not well, like as in. Oh my god! I just made like you know, I just broke the bank, made a hundred pounds. No, this show will probably sell to like a, an older clientele basis. So you want to have that older clientele that was, you know, at least in that teens back then in the nineties, that you know idolize that boot because it's all about starting the product itself. So if you look at the market that used to idolize the Caldera boots, then you can sell to that sort of market as well. You can still sell to other like you know people that want to buy them, but then I think based on the market itself and based on the shoes that are due to come out, the dunks that are due to come out, the dunks that just came out as well, I do really struggle to see where this dunk would fit in. And that's my analysis, guys. I'm a businessman, so I have to look at everything, like, you know, analytically. So um, if you've got any questions or anything like that, guys, just let me know. And also, um, I'm going to put the link um, uh, for the video that I've done on how to resell, tips on reselling. I'm going to put the link there just down below. So make sure you go check that out. Thanks guys. We out. Peace.